Hi everybody, Jeremy from Video the Studio here. Today I'm gonna show you how to use keyframe stretcher to be able to have responsive titles that you can extend and reduce as you want. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. I've made like a simple composition with like a background, a text and a rectangle. Um, and basically now I want to animate it. I want to animate it the in and the out, but I will make the out uh, stretchable with another node that we call uh, a keyframe stretcher. Um, basically what it's gonna allow us to do is to extend the titles as much as we want then in the edit page. So if then we want to make our fusion comp, uh, let's say 16 second, 20 second, we can just, you know, extend it and um, the keyframe out will be extended with it. So let's see together right now how we can do that, how we can achieve that. So first off, let's make a quick animation so we have something to start with so i'm gonna do something really simple it's just to show you how it works and how you can do it uh, so right now i'm gonna start with a rectangle let's say so right now i'm happy with the size of the rectangle let's start a keyframe here perfect uh, then i'm gonna bring it down to zero we're gonna bring the width to zero so we are all first animation we're gonna do then something with the text so let's um modify here the rotation let's do the y-axis perfect here it's good and then i'm gonna bring that to 100 um so basically now yeah perfect i got what i want i'm gonna show you to smooth that out because right now it looks uh, like you know a bit slow and it doesn't look really really good so let's go with spline then we're gonna show up our keyframe so we got basically the text keyframe here but as you can see the line is not a curve it's just a straight up line that's why it looks so harsh so we're gonna select all of the point then we're gonna hit s and as you can see it's already smoothed out so it looks better um, it's already a bit more smooth but what i like to do gonna continue to select them i'm gonna hit t to just show up ease in and ease out and i'm gonna bring the ease in to let's say about 80 um, and to me it looks way cleaner when you do those thing uh, it makes the animation way smoother let's have a quick look yeah it's um it's way better in my opinion so now that we have the animation in let's do quickly the animation out we're gonna go to uh, let's say i wanted to start at uh, 50 uh, and we're gonna do we're gonna go back to text then we're gonna put the same keyframe here um, and at the end we're gonna reduce it to 100 again perfect so basically we're replicating the exact same thing that we've done uh, at the beginning but at the um, end uh, that's pretty much it so now rectangle we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go to 50 here it's nice uh, with let's uh, keyframe that and then out we're gonna bring it to zero again perfect so as you can see we have basically the same thing we're gonna adjust the smoothness the same way we've done so let's select everything then it s to start to smooth it out and then we're gonna adjust the is uh, not sorry not the we're not gonna adjust the is in we're gonna adjust the is out for that matter so let's go with the is out and let's go to 80 the same way so as you can see we get something that is pretty similar um, let's give it a go perfect perfect we got our animation it works it's nice so now the problem is uh, if I go to the edit page and I try to stretch it as you can see here so it show up and it doesn't stretch it's stopped the same way that we've set up the keyframe as so to bypass that and uh, to be able to stretch it as we want we will have to add the keyframe stretcher uh, it's really simple then basically you're gonna add it uh, at the end of your um, node structure so right now I'm gonna add it after the merge so I'm gonna hit shift space to open the select tool panel then I'm gonna go with keyframe stretcher let's add it so you know just tap key and it will show up like right there uh, keyframe stretcher let's add it 
perfect so as you see right now it's red because we haven't uh, put anything so it said that there is an error but don't worry uh, everything is okay so what we want to do here is how it works um, it's pretty pretty simple um, so the source of the composition is starting at zero the end it's finishing at 71 so we're gonna put zero it's like by default it's gonna be zero at the beginning and then you just want to put the end at 71 where um, it doesn't matter like your uh, fusion comp uh, length uh, and you know your it just depends of your um, of the length of your fusion composition and it depends of you know the frame rate that you've chosen another thing for this specific composition is 71 but it can be like a, a lot of different number like uh, 320 or whatever so just make sure that you have um, the, this thing like the source in that is always zero most of the time and um, source and uh, that for me is 71 then we are gonna basically tell that node what when the stretch is starting and when the stretch is ending so right now my animation is uh, finished at 24 so i want the stretch to start at 24 and um the end basically it start at 50 so i'm gonna put 50 here uh let's do it 50 perfect and what that's gonna do it's basically between 24 and 50 where there is no animation when we're gonna stretch uh, in the edit page, it's only this part that's gonna get stretched and not the animation. So you will still have the animation in and you will have the animation out. So here we go. I think it's good, we're good. Let's go to the edit page. Let's check it out. So now we're gonna stretch it to 12 seconds. And as you can see, let's render it so you have a clean look at it. So now let's render, let's check it out. So you have the animation in, perfect. And as you can see, it's only the middle of the composition that have been stretched. And now we still have the animation out that's gonna show up any minute, perfect. So we have your animation in and all, or animation out. So you can, you know, extend it as much as you want. You can reduce it. Just if you reduce it, be careful. You've put your animation, let's say on this one, at 24 frame and then 50 so if you go too 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 low then you may have your two key framing that are gonna overlap so so be careful to not reduce it too much because otherwise the animation in and out could overlap so just be careful with that but other than that now you can you know extend it as much as you want and you will not have any problem all right guys so let me know in the comment if you have any question uh, and what kind of video you would like to see in the future don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.